Hey, welcome to Contractor Fight TV. I'm going to dig right in today. Uh, be but before I do, make sure you stick around at the end. I'm going to share with you about an event going on in Nashville, Tennessee, December 14th, 2019. Uh, we're going to talk all about marketing and some stuff like that. But listen, lead generation is uh, one of the most common topics that we address here in the contractor fight. I don't know how many dang videos we've done that have something to do with marketing. Uh, it's a topic that we get the most questions about. And there are many elements to marketing your business. And today on Contractor Fight TV, I'm going to just dig into one of these elements um, and help you make some progress in your marketing right now. Because I know a lot of you guys out there are feeling it, feeling it man. You know, the busy season comes and leads are through the roof and you think everything's gonna be great, it's gonna be a different world for your business and, and all this other stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, you know, there's times, whether it's because of the weather or just because of life and whatever, business takes a dive, lead flow takes a dive. So I'm gonna dig into one element today um, to help you market your business, build a brand and not waste your time, and that's social media. We're gonna talk a little bit about social media marketing here today. Before I do that though, I wanna give you some uh, statistics here. I'm gonna burn through some Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn statistics really quick, just to kind of set the base, uh, set the foundation here for uh, why this is important. All right, so Facebook is uh, the most popular networking platform, okay? There's two billion users. Um, I have a number here of all these two, four, five, and seven. All right, there we go. And I'm on Social Sprout, or Sprout Social. It's a website to do a bunch of um, social media statistics and things like that. So that's where this stuff is coming from. Um, three quarters of these two billion people use Facebook uh, every single day. Here's what's cool. 68% uh, of adults use it on a daily basis, all right? And this is the big one here. Facebook is the second favorite platform for consuming videos after YouTube. 40% of consumers say they watch uh, the most videos on Facebook. And if you've been here part of the fight any length of time, you know that we talk a lot about video and things like that. Now I'm gonna talk about Instagram. Um, Instagram, a couple stats that you need to know here. Uh, there's a billion monthly active users. Okay, there's a billion. You've got, um, since 2016, there's been a 7% increase in the number of United States adults that use the platform and 35% of them use it on a regular basis. All right, um, get through this boring shit, guys. Stats can be really boring to people, but I'm setting the foundation for you. Um, Wednesday's the best day to post on Instagram for brands all, across all channels and um, uh, videos get 21% more interactions compared to just images. Okay, so that's important to know about Instagram. And then finally here, uh, we're gonna look at YouTube, uh, LinkedIn. 33, 35, all right, here we go. We got, um, I'm just reading this directly off, these, off this website here. Um, LinkedIn performs 277% better than Facebook and Twitter, we're not talking about Twitter, um, when it comes to generating a visitor to a lead. LinkedIn is way more effective uh, for that stuff, all right? You've got, also important to know, 80% of social media business to business leads come from LinkedIn. So if you're a contractor that you're working, you're not necessarily working with residential people, but you're going after commercial work and GC work and stuff like that, you definitely want to be paying attention to what's going on here. And then last couple things here, 62% of LinkedIn members engage with content on the platform because they found it educational or informative. And we can skip the last one because it's basically the same thing. So what's that? what that says, guys, is that people want stuff that's relevant to them. They want to be educated. And when you're educating them and you're informing them of things in your trade, 62% of those members will engage with that content, and that's pretty high. All right? Last thing I'm going to cover here, and then we're going to get into the nitty-gritty here to give you guys some tips to walk away with, is I want to make sure we talk about some YouTube statistics, because that's social media as well. Um, it is the preferred form of social media worldwide. You're freaking watching me on YouTube right now, right? 83% um, 
This is, this is uh, from some research that HubSpot and journalism.org and some people did. 83% um, of all consumers prefer YouTube. They love to watch videos. 54% of all people want marketers, pay attention, 54% of all people want marketers to put out more video content. That's big. And then most of YouTube's user base is male. Uh, it's 55% men, 45% women. All right, so guys, today's tip that I'm gonna give you here is to go after some low-hanging fruit to help you get started and to create some momentum in your business when it comes to social media marketing. Now, I want you to remember, you've gotta be patient with this. Be patient, keep learning, and most importantly, just do. If you guys go back to my very first videos, they sucked. And you know some of them now suck, because we can't always be on. But the point here, the reason my channel's grown, the reason the contractor fight has grown, and the reason so many other contracting businesses grow is because of the consistency, because you continue to implement and do the work. So be patient. So I'm gonna give you um, <clears throat> 10 quick things here to help you get started with this and really take control of your social media marketing. Number one, pick one platform to start to really go in all in on, okay? Find out where the eyeballs of your ideal clients are and be there. It's that simple. Like the example I gave, if you're a business to business contractor, if you're working with HOAs and you wanna be their maintenance people, if you're working with GCs and, and you're more into the commercial realm and some things like that, it, it, or maybe you're a subcontractor who's going after, um, you know, other contracting businesses, that's business to business work. Or maybe you're a painting contractor and one of your uh, specialties is interior office painting. See, it's business to business sales. Guys, pick one platform to start and be there, be all in. So take some time right now, figure out who your ideal client is, where are they at, where are their eyeballs, and that's where you gotta be. Next thing, number two, you've gotta post Okay, now don't shit yourself when I tell you this, all right? Because a lot of guys go, oh my God, and they get all fucking bent out of shape about this. Post three to five times per day on that platform. The consistency of that is crucial. Because that ties into number three, building your brand instead of trying to sell. Don't try to sell people. Two and three are mixed here. Three to five times a day, okay? Because consistency is crucial and don't try to sell, instead try to build your brand. There is safety in a brand, and what I mean is this. I remember years ago we went to adopt my daughter from China, and we're walking in Guangzhou, and I turn the corners and I see oh, the golden arches. The golden arches are in fucking China, right? They're all over the world, and we had been, for a couple weeks, we'd been eating in these little villages and other restaurants, and I'm not that adventurous of an eater, guys. And when I turned the corner and I saw those golden arches, it was safety for me because I knew the brand of McDonald's. I knew that I don't know necessarily what I'm eating in China. I don't know how the burger's going to taste or how the fries are going to taste, but I do know that McDonald's has their shit together enough to at least have somewhat of a health code and some good things like that in place in their business. So there's safety in a brand. And the more you build your brand, on social media, the more you're showing up in people's feeds, the more relevant you are to them, it is that, that level of safety is increasing when the time comes for them to reach out to a painter or a flooring guy or a remodeler, okay? Build your brand instead of trying to sell. Don't run these fucking images with like, hey, 10% off paint. Let me tell you something right now. Nobody gives a fuck about 10% off paint. They care about their problems. And if somebody wants 10% off paint, Probably a cheap ass motherfucker and they're not your customer. So hopefully that makes sense. Number four, this is big. Add value to them. This is all about them. Social media is about them. It is not about you. So all the things that you think are important, all the things that you think really set your company apart, that you think is gonna move the needle with getting the phone to ring, Throw that shit aside and get into the mind of a customer. Another great idea is common questions. What are the most common questions that you and your team are getting? Because those are the same things that people are typing into the Google machine, okay? Uh, how much does it cost to do a kitchen remodel? What is the best type of countertop to buy? What are the best appliances? Um, how long does it take to do a project? Whatever those common questions are, should I use flat or eggshell paint? 
on and on and on and on. There are hundreds of questions, guys. You will never run out of questions if you are them focused like we talked about earlier, okay? You can also do comparisons. This paint versus this paint, which is better? All this stuff is in Marcus's book, okay? Reviews. You know, what's, what's the, um, you know, what's the be who's the best remodeling company in Kansas City? Okay, the key there is don't put your own company, all right? Because the minute you put your own company, you're now, you lose all credibility. But how you phrase it is like, hey, I'm Tom with ABC Remodeling. I know we're not a fit for everybody. So if you're looking for somebody other than us that's the best company to work with, in Kansas City as a remodeling contractor, here's a few co companies that you can work with. So guys, a lot of this is in Marcus's book. All right, a couple other ideas here for you to add value to them to make it all about them. What happens behind the scenes of your company? Take some pictures, shoot some video, introduce them to your team. If you got somebody sitting at the desk doing their thing and working on the schedule, pull your phone back around and just go, Hey, this is Jenny. Jenny, say hi. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? I'm working our schedule and blah, blah, blah. Hey, tell me about your average day. How many times are you shuffling the schedule around because of weather or, you know, things like that? Okay, have a conversation. Uh, shoot some videos or do a post where if it's an employee's birthday or an anniversary or they just had a baby, make them human. Guys, that is adding value to the people that are consuming this because they're human beings too. They want to know that they're working with people, not just a machine. Another great idea is community service or anytime that you, you serve or you do any giving or maybe you can be a champion to a cause in your community. Things like that, guys, are relevant to them. Or the last idea I have for you here is maybe unique approaches to how your company does things. You know, a million years ago in one of my old companies, uh, our, our secret sauce was the way we would pre-plan a job. So, um, and this was a million years ago before I was doing Facebook, before I was really doing video and things like that. If I had a do-over, what I would do now is I'd be like, hey, you know, one of, the, one of the things that makes us different than all the other painters that you're gonna be working with is the way that we pre-plan a job. When you hire a pro, yeah, you expect the, the paint job to be beautiful. You expect them to show up and all those other things that a normal business should do. But one of the differentiators that we have going on here that's a benefit to you is how we pre-plan a job and here's why. And I would spell it out and I would make that part of my secret weapon differentiator. So guys, there's so many different ideas when you are them focused. When it's all about them, the bottom line here is that you are educating them and in, re and in return for that, you are positioning yourself as the expert and people always give more time, more money and more attention to the expert. Couple more ideas here to get you rolling here. Guys, don't overcomplicate your social media game. Pull your phone out. Just pull this thing out. Take a picture, shoot a video, whatever it is. Maybe, maybe you're terrified of the camera, that's okay too. Sit down and write. Type out a, a post and have one little image. You don't even need to be on video. Put an image there and then type everything that we just I just said on video in those earlier tips. The point here is just do your thing. Do the thing that comes na more natural to you and you will be successful because consumers, they love to consume in many different forms. Video, audio, visual, okay? Uh, written form, whatever it is, communicate in a way that's most authentic to you, all right? Just simply don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. Now I want to show you here real, uh, actually I'll give you this last tip and then I'm going to have Dakota bring the camera around and show, or I'm going to flip my computer around. I'm going to show you guys something here. Real half ass way of doing it. I'm not going to pop in a screen share or anything. I'm just going to do this because I want to show you how one of our clients here in the fight who I've been working with for years, Alan Decker, he has, um, he's exploded his business because of what he's doing on social media and it's super simple uh, and I'll pop in the link to the description when we release the podcast I just did with him as well all right but the final t t implementation tip here guys is uh, earlier I talked about three to five posts a day doesn't mean that you have to take time every single day three to five times to do this what it means is plan ahead an implementation tip is to create things in bulk 
and then schedule the uploads or hire a part-time virtual assistant to put them out three to five days a week. But uh, Mondays are generally my content day. I create content every day, but when we shoot these videos and stuff, we typically do it on a Monday here in the fight because I have a business to run and there's other things that are going on. So I totally get that. So don't overcomplicate it and create in bulk and then schedule some things out. Guys, you can do this. So I'm gonna flip my camera around here real quick and uh, I'm gonna show you Alan Decker's Facebook videos and uh, then I'm gonna tell you some of his results. All right guys, here's go to Decker's Pondscapes in, in uh, Facebook, go to videos and simply come down here, all right? And you'll see these videos, they're two, three, four minutes long, okay? Um, you know, he did a video here, a progress video. Just show you. Hey, how's everybody doing today? We are up in Boston Lake, and this is our second day of putting some rocks in here. A little tricky, we got a couple hundred feet to run the rocks, so it takes a little bit longer to run them back, but that's why we have equipment, right? Because we're not doing that by hand anymore. We're all getting too old, too smart, too wise. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the progress we got going on. This is an awesome project. Hey, Em, how's it going today? Hey, I saw it, finally saw it. Let me get my glasses on. Anyway, um, let me skip ahead right, to the project. Let me show you. Let's see, let's scoot down over here. Thank God for that big orange machine because I wouldn't want to have to lift these rocks by hand anymore. So we got this all shelved out in here because look how interactive this is going to be. This is the patio section in here. We're going to have some nice big, not in the people's way in their driveway because we've got tight access. So we're going to. All right, all right, so that was a real primitive example. I just wanted to show you from Alan Decker, who's been, uh, I just interviewed him on the Contractor Fight podcast a few weeks ago. It'll be live here pretty soon, and I'll put a link when it's live in the description of this video, so make sure you listen to that podcast. But guys, at the time of recording of the podcast, Alan had shared just by doing consistent videos like that over the last couple years, in 2019 alone, he's generated almost $300,000 worth of work simply and only from Facebook video, from taking the time to be consistent. You saw that was a live video that he did. He's just, hey, here's what's going on and all that stuff. Here's the funny thing. The same day we recorded it, he sent me a text and he said, LOL, just sold more work for the 2020 season because they don't have time to do it this year, another $25,000 job from Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, fighters, I'm telling you, be the expert, it will pay off for you big time, 100%. Like I said before, you can do this. Listen, to wrap this up, this is low cost marketing, okay? It's very low to no cost marketing. You have one of these. Okay, it will pay off over time, kind of like a tree does. You plant the damn seed, and guess what? The tree grows. The good news is it ain't gonna take you 20 years to have a mature tree here. Okay, the more consistent you are, the more you make it about them, the faster your, your marketing tree in, in the social media realm will grow. Okay, and the other good news here is this is 100% controllable by you. I wanna end with a thought from Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm a big Gary V fan. Uh, he's been preaching this stuff for a long time and I, I think too many of us haven't taken it seriously. And, um, and one of the things that, that Gary has always said is in this day and age, in 2019 as I'm recording this, you have to get the mindset that you are a media company that does painting. You are a media company that does landscaping or home remodeling. When you first get it in your head that we are first and foremost a media company that opens up the world of all the things that you could produce. That's where I shared earlier about doing stuff in the community. You know, maybe there's a rally going on in your city and it's a cause that you believe in and with, that's aligned with your values. Then take your damn phone and go do a Facebook Live from there and now you're relevant to your community. Do you see what I'm talking about? You're a media company. Maybe your local sports team, the minor league team is totally kicking ass and you're at the game. Okay, and they're in the playoffs for the first time in 15 years. Create some content around it. Be a media company. And the last question I wanna ask you here, I have a challenge and a question. I wanna challenge you to go all in with your social media. Go all in with building your brand, with being relevant and making it all about them. That's, for, that's the challenge, be all in. The question I have is what would it look like 
for you to be all in. When I ask myself that question with as much content as I create, I gotta own my own crap here. I'm even realizing that I'm not, my actions are not reflecting an all in attitude with my social media marketing either, as much as I do. So that's the challenge uh, for us guys, is go all in on your social media. It's super low cost or, or virtually free, depending on what you do. Find the thing that you do the best and just do your thing and be consistent and all those other things that we talked about here today. Before I go, I want to remind you of what we got going on in Nashville, Tennessee. If you're in the Nashville, Tennessee region, come join my Fight Fest Nashville on December 14th, 2019. Uh, this is the first of many, many Fight Fests that we're going to be doing in different regions around the country in the year to come. I'm super excited about that. But guys, this is a day that's totally devoted, totally devoted to taking control of your marketing going forward in your business. We're gonna dig into the mindset of marketing your business. We're gonna teach you how to identify your ideal client. We're gonna help you identify clear objectives so you know where to put your time and your money, how to develop great relationships in influencer marketing. We're gonna talk uh, how to get the most out of your website and your SEO presence, uh, how to build your own marketing budget and calendar so that you always know what you're doing, when you're doing it, what it's gonna cost. You have it pre-planned out. You're gonna walk out of there with a calendar all right, um, how to, we're gonna dig deeper in how to use social media to build your brand, and then finally how to track your marketing so that you can make the right adjustments throughout the year. It's gonna be from nine o'clock to 3 p.m., 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Saturday, December 14th in Nashville, Tennessee. We'll put the link below as well. You guys rock, I gotta roll. Thanks for joining me today on Contractor Fight TV. Don't forget to share this with another contractor and subscribe if you already haven't done so. I'm out.